Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in this video we will be solving 5 SQL queries in 5 minutes. This is a series on my channel, go check out the playlist and you will find a lot of videos. This will help you in practicing SQL queries and in turn it will help you master SQL. Let's begin with this video. Our first query is write a SQL query to fetch records that are present in one table but not in another table. Now what this means is, suppose we have one table which has values 1, 2 and 3 and our second table has values 2, 3, 4. So our output should be just 1 because we need to fetch records that are present in just the first table and not in the second table because the first table has values 1, 2 and 3 but 2 and 3 also exist in table number 2 so we need to discard them so our output should only be 1. In this case what can we use? If you're using SQL Server then you can use the function minus select star from table 1 minus select star from table 2. And in case you do not want to use minus or, uh, or for example using MySQL where minus does not exist, you can use left join also. So in that case, the query will be something like this. Let's say we have two tables. One is employee, employee and we give it an alias E. Select E dot star from employee, from employee E, left join, our second table which is manager M, using which column? Employee ID where m dot employee id is null now what this is doing is we are left joining the first so, so the first table is employee and the second table is manager and we are left joining it we are left joining it on the column employee id and wherever m dot employee id which means the employee id column from the second table is null that will be only printed and in what cases the second table will have employee ids null where it is not matching with the first table because we are joining it on column employee id so this query will only print those employees that are present in the first table our second query is write a sql query to fetch the employee ids that are present in both the tables the two tables are employee details and employee salary what we can do is we can use subquery select employee id from our first table employee details where employee id in and we have a subquery here select employee id from the second table which is employee salary now what this is doing is select employee id from employee details where employee id is in the second table so this way we are only getting those employees which are present in both the tables this is our third query write a sql query to fetch the employees full names and replace the space with a hyphen this is a very simple query we will be using the replace function select replace what is the column name the column name is full name what do we need to replace space and we need to replace it by what, what? hyphen and this is our query from the table employee details what this is doing is this is just simply using the replace function where first we need to give the column name and what do we need to replace we need to replace space so that will be our second parameter our third parameter will be what we need to replace it by our fourth query write a sql query to fetch the position of a given character or characters in a field for this we will use the function instr let's see that Select I and C R. Full name. This is our column name. What is the character whose position you need to find out? That will be our second parameter. Let's say hello. This is the letter from whatever is your table name. So what this query is going to do is it is going to first of all it's going to pick up the column full name. So in the column full name wherever the word hello exist this function will return the position and this is the answer for query number four let's move on to query number five write a sql query to uppercase the name of the employee and lowercase the city values for this we're going to use the upper and lower functions let's do that select upper this is the function 
what is the column that need to be that needs to be uppercase that is the name of the employee full name what is the column that needs to be lowercase city we are simply going to use upper and lower function from the table employee details and this is a query and that is it for today's video if you all found this video helpful make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and comment down what other videos you all want me to make thank you for watching this video